it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill and today we are going to talk about chickens. So stay tuned. Some of the things that I do to save us money and to also give the chickens a better diet is I grow sprouts right here from sunflower seeds and I will show you guys how to do that inside the house. And I also ferment my scratch feed and I also add oatmeal and I'm telling you guys the chickens eat it up and I'm going to show you exactly how much the chickens like it. So you might ask why do I do this? Well fermenting scratch grains or any type of grain to, it increases their nutrients improves digestibility and provides a natural probiotic organism for them so that it really helps their gut and that uh, believe it or not the chickens will eat less feed if you actually feed this to them so let's give it to the chickens and let's see how they like it hey girls <gasps> kyle come on kyle get in here come on kyle he does not want to come in. <laughs> He's just got to eat it. <laughs> we have one chicken that will not stay in the run no matter what we do. So it's Kyle and he lives outside the run. He comes in when he feels like it. So there you go. Look at them eat this. They absolutely love it. I think it kind of gives them like a feeling that they're kind of drunk. So, and here is the sunflower seeds right here. So let's see if they like these two. And these are good cause like they're running out of grass here. So really good to feed your chickens in the winter time because there's not a lot of grass. So they're still getting that green element they need so badly in their diet. We'll just get the fat two more eggs out of the coop so we're averaging right now for our older hens five eggs a day pretty soon in the next couple of weeks maybe a month or so our um, other small chickens will be able to also be able to give us um, eggs as well we have exactly 14 chickens all together we have um, now we have three roosters and 11 hens we're not sure if Kyle is a rooster or not we're still kind of iffy about that one but if he is he'll still be loved and we will still keep him so let's go inside so i can teach you guys how to make this in the in the jar you see all the bubbles so that means that the fermentation worked the first thing i'm gonna do is i am going to keep this liquid because we want to use it again so i'm just pouring it in a filter if you don't get it all that's okay but you want to get most of it. And I'm just straining it. Go just like that. And this will go to the chickens. It's been three days of fermenting the um, scratch grains with a little bit of oatmeal. So we're going to take this and we are going to just put it aside to make the next batch. And now for the sprouts. Every day the chickens get a little bit of sprouts, so we're gonna pour some of that as well into a container. Just like that. Okay, right, to make the fermented scratch grains, we have the liquid left over still from the ones that we um, emptied out. And here I have some scratch feed. I just put it in a pint size mason jar and there's a little bit of oatmeal on the bottom of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour that into the jar with that on um, the liquid from the last um, batch that I did have I am gonna add just a little bit of water and then I am going to close the lid real tight and give it a shake just like that and then I am going to loosen up that lid because you need it to be able to breathe I stored them so I have three days worth going at all times so this will be tomorrow's and then this will be the next day's and this is the one we just made so what I do every day is I will screw the lid real tight and I will give it a shake 
and then I will unscrew the lid. And that is it. And now for mint scratch greens. So let's move on to sprouting. Sprouting is so simple and you can use almost any type of seed that you want to use. I am using black sunflower seeds. Do is I fill up like this much right here. They have expanded in this jar. But I fill up this much of the jar right here with black sunflower seeds. And what I do is I add water. I fill the whole container up with water and then I put them inside of a, a very dark place. So the darker it is, the better. And I leave it alone for 24 hours. I absolutely do not touch it. So what I have been doing for that, it's like that. So you want to wrap a coffee filter around this. Go put this, fill this with water. Now, very important. If you're on well water or if you have filter water, that is fine. But if you don't have, um, if you have city water, just leave the jar full with water um, on your counter for 24 hours. So that way all the chlorine gets out of the water because this is not going to be good if you um, have chlorine in your water. So just let your water sit out for 24 hours unless you have well water or you could buy distilled water. So once this right here has sat for 24 hours, we'll sit out in the sink just like that and then you would fill it up. We'll do the next step right here. You would fill it up with water. Just like that what i do is i tip it to the side and just pour all pour out all the excess water now i do this um twice a day and then you tip it upside down and you put it on these little um rocks like that so let's do the other one let's take this piece off put the cover back on Fill it with water. Dip it. And put it on the rack. So these are gonna take between five to seven days to sprout. So, but once they do sprouting, you just keep putting the water in and out, in and out, in and out. And it will, when you'll know it be done when the whole entire jar is full of sprouts. And I'm telling you, the chickens absolutely love this. And when they're all done, and this is what they look like. They're just nice little sprouts that the ducks and the chickens love so much. And you're only using this much right here of seeds to fill up a whole entire container. That's also saving you a lot of money. Between that and fermenting my um, scratch grains, still giving the chickens their layer pellets is still good for them too. But this will honestly keep down your bill lower because right now everything is so expensive. So if I can keep my bill lower, I'm going to. And still make sure that my chickens are very healthy and well nourished. That is the biggest part of this. What I found out too is that the baby ducks love these too. Well, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys will subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Saki, say bye. Bye, guys.